Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to How Courtney Sees It. I am here today to do my October plan with me video. I am just kind of running around finding pens here in the beginning, but definitely check out the description box for any links and we are going to just dive right into this video. All right, so I'm starting off with my monthly spread. Um, I am doing just a monthly spread this month instead of doing a monthly spread and then weekly one. So I'm doing a monthly overview here. Nothing too crazy. Um, and I did speed this up a good deal so that it didn't take forever. Um, I found this layout on Pinterest and I will link the original person down below because I saw this and I thought it was so cute. So I did basically duplicate it. Um, I just made the month boxes a little bit bigger than hers or his, but that's not anything too crazy. You can't really claim that as m me creating it because, you know, I didn't. So I am doing outlines for boxes and going to fill in this whole page with my calendar. Now the reason I did just a monthly spread this month for October is because I basically work every single day um, and I don't have a ton of stuff to fill weekly spreads every week besides to-do lists. So I did go ahead and just do a monthly spread. If it does change, I might decide to do weekly spreads as that month goes on. And if I do, I'll make another video a really quick like flip through video or a instagram post about it um, but for right now this is what we are doing for october and then i'm just using my crayola super tips to fill in the lines here up top oh i'm doodling first i'm writing the days of the week sorry I bought a multi-pack of these Crayola Super Tips and it's honestly been the best thing ever. Um, it's so satisfying to put them all back in order. I just, it's like oddly satisfying for me and I have a really good time with them. Don't judge me in the comments below, but that is uh, my favorite thing about using them, to be honest. And then I'm taking a black, oh, there I'm showing you the color. Go me. I'm going to be writing in the days of the week now and I'm just using a black paper mate. Um, this is the flare pen and it's a medium tip I believe. I'll try to I'll link it down below um, if you guys are interested. These do kind of bleed through so if you have thinner pages these maybe aren't the best pens but it does work really well for my very very casual bullet journey bullet journaling um, style so I dig it. Right about here, I realized that I had too many boxes for the days of the week um, or for the months. So I went ahead and I got a piece of white scrapbook paper out of my scrapbook file and I rewrote October for the title and um, kind of hand measured it. You can see I kind of like badly measured it. And then I'm using a dark gray marker to outline the word and the light gray to sketch a little spider web in some of the some of the letters and kind of draw some little spiders with that black paper mate pen um because i realized i cannot count so six years of college really did me wrong everybody i just want you to know i am a disappointment to my parents and uh yeah so this is me doodling a bunch of spider webs I am not a huge, um, hugely artistic person. I am not very good at doodling or drawing, but spider webs and little spiders are pretty easy. So I did, um, I did have a lot of fun doodling this out and um, I think it looked really cute at the end. So it all worked out. I am, I hand cut this out really quick just with a pair of scissors and am using Little Elmer's glue dots to paste it into place. Um, that 
these things are so handy. I use them for scrapbooking too. It's honestly the best invention ever. And now we are going to move on to the next spread. I did use a little bit of the purple marker to kind of try to blend that in. Um, I have a sticky note full of stuff going on in October, so I wouldn't forget. Like vacation, we're going camping with Zach's parents. It's our engagement anniversary this month. Um, my friend Jen is also coming over. My mom's birthday is this month. Um, we have a wedding this month. Halloween is this month. You know, all those great, great things going on. Next, we're moving on to the highlight of my day spread. I did go ahead and doodle a little pumpkin at the top because I thought it was cute, basically. And if you haven't seen my September video or seen a spread like this, basically it's a mix between like a gratitude log and basically just deciding what was the best part of your day and logging it. Um, for me, it's been really helpful just to kind of focus on the positive things going on, especially because work's been kind of hard lately and I'm just drawing or writing out one through 31 down the side of the page and then I fill it in during the month. So, and I do add a little piece of Halloween washi tape in the corner just for, you know, shits and giggles. Next, I am doing my habit tracker over in the corner and I did individual boxes for each habit this month. Instead of September, I did like one big log spread basically and I thought this would be more fun and a little bit more colorful and just easier to track in general. I'll let you know how it goes by the end of the month but I am just drawing this all out. This did take a lot longer than the one I did last month, but I like this system a little bit better. So I think it's gonna be worth it in the end. I zoomed in a little closer so you could see what I was doing. Um, I do have Monday through Sunday written up at the top and in pencil, which I'll eventually outline in pen and I'm just drawing out all of the lines this did take forever like I said and was kind of irritating um but I am listening to like a couple of different audiobooks and I'm watching YouTube videos like you can see in the corner right now I was watching videos while I was doing it um because I knew I was going to try to do a voiceover you guys let me know if you would rather I don't do a voiceover next month because I could talk during the process uh it's just I kind of get distracted and I tend to not speak very much, which maybe that would be a bonus for you guys. You'll just have to let me know. Like I said, I did label these Monday through Sunday. If I do this kind of spread again, I would definitely write one through 31 inside the boxes themselves, maybe in that black color and then track over top of them with another color. Um, just because it's kind of hard for me to realize what day I am working on. I did really simple titles for these as well, just the Crayola Super Tips, and I wrote with that black paper mate over top, and I used a uh, purple, a light gray, and then kind of a mustardy yellow color um, to kind of go with like the pumpkin and the purple in the beginning and grays throughout the whole thing. I have, I have a thing for gray spreads. If you watch my September video, it was all like gray <laughs> for the most part, except for one pink one. But I kept my have it the same as last month. So all my social media on there, reading, writing, no spend, working out, um, journaling, water consumption, all that good stuff, so. And I am not very good at hand lettering, so I'm really just writing my own, my own handwriting down at the bottom for the label. I did fill these out. I am just using little hash, hash marks across of them. For my to-do list this month, I decided to do a removable to-do list. So I have, I found this spread on Instagram or Pinterest. And again, if I can find it, I will link it down below because I think this is a really good idea. Um, it does use a little bit more paper because you're throwing away the, the tasks after you do them. But I think it ends up working better for me in the long run. So far, right now it's the eighth when I'm filming this or talking to you right now. And so far I've been liking it a lot. Um, 
I did also pick up this little ruler like right before I started filming this video and it was the best helper I've ever had, I think in my life. Um, it's way more mobile than that big one. That big one is actually an architecture um, ruler and it's just, it's really hard to maneuver my hands around because it is twice as big as my hand. I'm writing done in all the boxes and then I'm using little purple kind of like hash marks around the sides and sticking the sticky notes over top. Um, I do need to invest in a bigger eraser, but I just haven't yet. I did go ahead and write some to-dos on there really quickly, nothing crazy. Engagement outfits for our pictures, dishes, laundry, etc. And then same thing, I wrote to-do down the side. I did try to do a kind of drop shadow effect, which kind of worked. It wasn't it's not perfect by any means, but I do ultimately like the way it ended up with the purple and gray. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And then you just pull them off when they're done and go from there. So this mood tracker I did find also on like Pinterest or Instagram. And again, I'll try to link it down below. I like... I just, this was super soothing and easy to draw for me, this little spider web. I had a really good time doodling it out. And um, I don't know, is that weird? Probably, but I am just using those super tips to draw my title and then I'm numbering one through 38 or 31, not 38. How many days in October? Um, hitting with a eraser because I never follow my own lines, even though I should. And then I did plan out my moods that I wanted to track beforehand, which is what's on that sticky note. So I'm doing happy, relaxed, anxious, angry, upset, tired, sad, emotional, and then neutral normal. So I do have a color assigned to each kind of mood and then I'm coloring in the cobweb line for that day based on the moods. Um, in a couple minutes, not minutes, but in a little bit, I do show, I color in like the first three days of the month. So you can kind of see how I was doing. Um, tired, sad, happy, neutral, normal, etc. cetera. So um, I just think it's interesting to track the moods, especially I can tell like when I'm at work and when I come home, you can always see like there's purple at the end because that's when I'm home with Zach. I'm doing just a little flip through now of the couple of pages. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know down below if you did a plan with me video this month. I'd love to go check it out. I'm having a really good time with this planner so far. Everything's linked down below. Like I said, I will talk to you guys all in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.